Elixir Energy Drink Mayhem Festival. Julia here with Maria, the very hot Maria from In This Moment. What's Yay. up, girl? Nothing. I'm good. We played our show already today, and we're relaxing in the Moroccan lounge. So how have, um, this is very sexy. We're going to get back to this in a minute. But how are, how are crowds responding to you guys here? Because, first of all, you're the only female-fronted band here. Yeah. And you guys bring a little bit of, a, of more of a plethora of sound options than the other bands. Yeah, I think that, but I think people like that. I think people like diversity, you know, and I think it's a great tour between super, super heavy, you know, and then they still have bands that are singing, you know, like Five Finger and uh, Corn and things like that. So I think it's a good mix for us. And A Star Crossed Wasteland, your brand new album, drops today. Yeah. So happy birthday to In This Moment. Yeah, we're so excited. And uh, the album is phenomenal. You guys definitely go back to a heavier sound. Um, why did you guys decide to do that? Well, we love it. I think that we combined it, both of our albums. And I think on this album, we kind of found our defining sound of what, you know, we have been searching for, I think, which is a really good mix between, you know, super heavy and having that emotional, aggressive side to it and still having the more melodic flow and the more melodic things there. Because I think we'd be lost without either. I agree. And, um, you know, being a girl in this kind of band, tell me a little bit about creepy fans because I got some creepers yeah. and you must have some crazy creepers. Yeah. Tell me your favorite creeper story. Creeper Store would be the favorite. Uh, I have my own website, uh, Marie Brings Wonderland, and we were doing like a video chat on there, so we all can see each other and talking. And bad idea off from the start. Yeah. Well, no, it's great. The fans love it so much because they can see me. And we're all talking this and that. But sure enough, eventually, once in a while, like just a coat will open, and of course, there's like a bong 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 bong, yeah. and we're all like. Ah! So we all have to like shut it down and go to our next secret meeting or something like that. So yeah, that's probably creepy. But we have all kinds of creepers and people that are just evil or threatening or like try to hack sites and things like that. But I think there's just going to be haters on everybody everywhere anyway. So I just try to be careful. And I jump into the, I don't know if you know, but I've been going into the crowd every day and making the entire crowd at the soundboard do a circle pit around the soundboard while I'm in the middle. So my band has a heart attack every time I do it. So yeah. today they came out with me though and security. Cute. Yeah, so, but you know what I mean? It's just, I think it's just a matter of going each day and praying for the best and not being totally scared of everybody and just praying I don't get shanked in the crowd. <laughs> now, you also got voted Hottest Chicken Metal, Revolvers 2010, Golden Gods Awards, and that's a pretty badass title. How does that make you feel? Oh, I think it's all just fun and, and, and it's lighthearted, you know what sure. I mean? I mean, obviously, um, there's a lot of beautiful, strong women in metal out there, and I obviously it doesn't define the music, right, but, right, right. but I think it's just fun. And I love Revolver, and they've supported us since day one, so I had fun with it, but I'm not a big drinker, and I got wasted at the <laughs> awards. So when I accept the awards, it's so not me. I'm just like, whoa! I'm like swearing and screaming and, it's, and so that's, that's what, what happens to me. To see, I guess that's what they want to see because I was wasted. So it worked out all right. But I, I'm honored and happy to be, you know. So, you know, staying on the girl kick because I, I think your fans are really interested. We're, we're actually sitting here in the back lounge of the bus, which you are sharing with Norma Jean. Yeah. And the guys were cool enough to let her have the back lounge as her little sexy pad. And you got some crazy shit going on over here. We got some crystals over here yeah. can you we got a hat box <laughs> that's where all the crystals go in the that's where all the crystals go and Nails. we got you got a dog <laughs> yeah. she's not in here right now we, we, um, we got her outside tell me about your little girl pad here tell me about um, all the highlights uh i think that um i'm really kind of split down the middle so i'm definitely a very assertive woman and i'm a leader and i get what i want and i look people in the eye but i have another side of me that's very very feminine and very girly and um very um i'm into like good energy those crystals like bring good energy i'm totally kind of a hippie free bird spirit i get that from my mom so candles calm me down after an intense being in a circle pit of people, 5,000 people running around me, I get like, and I'm like kind of psychotic, so I have to like bring myself down.